Oh, the big one just missed it. God dang it. She just completely whiffed. Yeah, like a 47 incher. Oh, another one. Why do they keep missing it? Seriously. Yeah. They just swipe at it and they leave. Forty-five. There's one. Oh. Literally just comes up. I see you. I'm gone. They're so like, I don't know, they have a really bad relationship with the boat today. Oh, you, another one did it. Just missing it. She's not going anywhere. All battled up. First spot with the beaver bait. Whatever. Yeah, of course you do, Grandma. <laughs> All right, so what we did, we took a little break. Uh, fishing was kind of tough, but I just switched baits. It's actually the first spot I fished with beaver so we've been seeing a lot of fish on dive and rise baits crank baits and whatnot uh, but just something else it's a little bit of a pull pause and then all that deer hair in this beaver bait really keeps it buoyant so you can stay above the rocks uh, I do add extra weight to them here um, but the beaver can be really really good up here obviously first spot got a fish I'll show you guys that one quick it's all beat up from spawning nice little fish are the scars on that side just or no on her back. On her back, yeah. I'll flip the fish around so you guys can see it. If you look here, you can see all the spawning scars. Pretty nasty. But uh, nice fish. She's pretty spunky, so uh, we're gonna get her back. Oh, don't bite me. But yeah, we uh, should have Four fish now, but we've got one. <laughs> got her. It's all right. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> nice nut anywhere. job. I mean the hand. The bait did? Yeah. So she hit it once out there. Oh, is she that why it. you knew? Yeah, I knew. She didn't say anything. Oh yeah, I knew she was coming. <laughs> Finally a bucktail fish. It hit me there and in the face. Alright, we finally got a figure eight fish. Been here three days. And generally figure eights are where we catch our fish here. Um, but it's been kind of weird. The fish are just getting out of their post-spawn activities. We've had such a late spring here. But uh, we've, I noticed today that we've only been moving baits 
or fish, I should say, on baits that are really loud and, and obnoxious in the water, like suics, and we're ripping crankbaits, those hooks are hitting the side of the bait, or that back hook's hitting the uh, metal tail on the suic. So I went to a really loud bucktail. This is that new ticker from Kramer Brothers. So it's got the two wires on here that are always clicking and hitting these blades. And uh, this is actually my first spot throwing this. Jessie moved one on this bait today. I had her throwing it for a while, but she nipped it away from the boat. I knew she was coming. First turn, hang it high, boom. So let's show you the fish click. Fat little thing. Nice fish. Chunky. Hey, Jess? Um, I don't think so. Yours was definitely uh, a little bit bigger and more pretty. Doesn't have the same spots. Jess did catch her bucktail fish on this same spot. This one's a little eager to get back in the water and we're just getting into our you know, late evening period here. It's quarter to eight right now. So we're gonna get back, hopefully get a couple more tonight. See ya. Good one too. Right. Oh. Yep, I see it. Don't get all wrapped up, girl. Come on. Nice job, Jess. Whew. All right, let's get her head out of the, in the water. She's off. She's not happy, but she's off. Nice. That jump? Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> All right. Kept throwing the bucktail. I just got absolutely smoked. The freaking rod just stopped. There's a lot of rocks here. I didn't think it was rock. I was far enough back in my retrieving. I've been keeping that bait up pretty quick, making a lot of noise. That's still the same bucktail with the tickers on it. Like I said, just making a lot of noise. That just seemed to be our pattern. Uh, maybe the last two days, it's just something that makes a lot of noise. If you ever hear, like I said, a suic or you know any minnow bait where those hooks are hitting the side of a plastic body, make a lot of noise. So I would reach to my backs for something that kind of replicated that, put it in a bucktail form. There it is. Nice fish. That jump was incredible. She's really beat up from spawning. Like I gotta say, they just got done here not that long ago, but. Uh, it's a really nice fish. Smoke the bait. Sweet jump. Third fish of the day. We should really have six in reality. Or at least six bites. Those three this morning just completely whiffed. But really nice fish. We're gonna get her back. She's getting good. I've said it before guys, but when you've got fish like this and you're releasing them in the wind, always try and keep their nose into the wind. You never want to flush the water into their gills backwards. So keep their nose into the wind. Let them choose when they take their oxygen. And just hold her here. There's no reason to whoosh her back and forth because that'll push water into the back of their gills as well. Just keep putting her head into the waves. Eventually she'll just get out of your hand. 